and it's always about uh, being as inclusive as we can. But we thought polygamy was illegal. <laughs> uh, you know what, let's be clear, it's certainly not about uh, polygamy. It's about uh, inclusion, it's about what we stand for as a board. And uh, yes, we feel very strongly about that. And uh, again, it has nothing to do with polygamy. So you have a great day. What about, what, right. what about the gender apartheid mosque at Valley Park Middle School? Ah, uh, Menzoid talking to Chris Spence, the now deposed head of the Toronto District School Board. Uh, he was asking about polygamy because of that poster that kind of showed, well, polyamorous relationships, saying it doesn't matter who you love. Polygamy, poly polyamory being promoted in the school system. Now, here's some of the things that Chris Spence allowed to happen under his leadership at the Toronto District School Board. Veggie sex tips uh, with Weblink as part of the sex ed curriculum social justice curriculum in math that taught some really strange stuff in, in, in math. Che Guevara being endorsed as a, a hero when in fact he was a murderous thug, uh, polygamy as I mentioned, and the lunchtime mosqueteria that had girls sit at the back and then menstruating girls, well they had to be way at the back. I mean you can't, can't be near a menstruating woman ever. So this was all allowed under him, but due to this plagiarism, he got the boot. Really? Plagiarism is what got him the boot. My question is, what took so long? It shouldn't have taken this. The man should have been removed for other reasons. Richard Klagsbrenn is a blogger. He blogs at Eye on a Crazy Planet. He's got kids in the Toronto District School Board and follows these issues closely. And Richard joins us now out of Toronto. Uh, I think this is a good thing that Chris Spence is gone, but you're one of many who says eh, something worse could be what happening in the wings. Is this a case of devil you, you know better than the devil you don't? I, I think so, Brian. It's, uh, I've met uh, the chief academic officer of the Toronto District School Board. I've heard uh, the person, the de deputy director, Donna Kwan, who's taking over at a futures con what they call the futures conference, promoting the same sort of stuff. And I don't think you're going to get any better. In fact, you might get worse from what's coming. So now, I, I, I'm involved in my own ongoing fights with this school board that, that my kids go to, and when there's a problem, I go to the actual trustees. Do the trustees not care about all this strange stuff going on, or do they just say, oh, those are crazy right-wing bloggers, and that's Sun Media, and who cares about that? doesn't matter that it's true, just ignore it. Is that what they're doing? Um, some, somewhat, Brian. The uh, chair of the Toronto District School Board, or Toronto District uh, Board of Trustees, is a guy named Chris Bolton. He is uh, a leftist counselor. His ward, uh, he runs along with Adam Vaughn. I don't know if you know who okay, he yep, is, but yep. uh, so Adam Vaughn, the guy and that Chris, wanted to ban bullets. Yes. Yeah, they're they're like this. And Chris Bolton, I spoke with him about the Mosqueteria issue that came up uh, when it happened. He said that his view on the subject was the same as Toronto Star columnist Haroon Siddiqui's, so, who was pretty much in favor of the Mosqueteria. So that's where he stands on it. So he's the person who's heading the body that's going to choose Chris Spence's successor. And so I think you're not really going to see anything different coming along. Okay, so what's a parent to do uh, at the end of the day in Toronto or anywhere? Because my advice is get involved, especially at a very local level. And if you make enough noise, you can make a difference. And if not, sometimes you have to withdraw from the system, set up your own, find an alternative some way. But what can you do where you are? I mean, are there alternatives for you? Um, well, I, what you said, I think, is the only alternative, is to get involved as much as you can, put pressure on the political level. You also have to put pressure on the provincial level, because ultimately it's Laurel Broughton, who's the Minister of Education, who's responsible for what's going on in the curriculum at, uh, at any school board. Laurel Broughton? I know. It's, uh... I mean, come on. Th this woman uh, is, is the one that, uh, that said Catholic schools can't teach that abortion's wrong because that's misogynistic, even though that's what the Catholic Church teaches. Well, now, now um, might, uh, excuse me, my head's exploding there. It, it, sh it should, but now might be, a, I don't know if it's a great opportunity, but at least better than usual because there's going to be a leadership uh, convention coming up for the Ontario Liberals at some point in the foreseeable future. So now's the time to pressure those candidates about these issues. Okay, well, I, I'm not sure that it's going to get a whole lot better, but you guys are in trouble down there. Oh. Uh, I think that you need to get in there somehow yeah. and clean house. Uh, Richard, yeah. thanks for keeping an eye on all of these things, and uh, I'm sure you'll do it in the future when uh, Mr. Spence is, I was about to call him Chief Spence. <laughs> I, I'm too, so used to saying that. Uh, the, due to, the former the, doctor. The other story. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm sure that once uh, Chris Spence's replacement is, uh, is picked, you'll be there figuring out uh, what's wrong with the next guy. Thanks so much for joining us.
All right. Uh, I do want to just say quickly, um, you know, I, I say get involved and then find alternatives. Last night I was at a meeting with other parents trying to set up their, their own Boy Scout troop. Yes, actual Boy Scout. No, we're not going to use the name Scout, so Scout Canada, don't bother calling. Uh, but parents worried about where Scouts are going? We decided to set up our own. Be countercultural. Stick around, we've got more to come.